It's showtime! Hello, it's uh, Saturday evening, I'm here, and I'm talking at you live on the internet. I'm Colonel Failure, and uh, welcome to the stream. Oh, I meant to unpause the flipping game. Oh, I set up a winning shot and everything, uh, just, for, just for the life. Oh, thanks very much for the donation, Zuna. Did someone mention Jawas? Uh, as we all, there we go. Uh, as we all rightly say, um, that's the stuff. Anyway, I've, I've got you something nice to look at uh, for, for, the, uh, for the early part of the show. Uh, let's do, uh, I'm going to do the next 15 seconds of shout outs. Are you ready? Set. Go. Uh, Malas Bixi, uh, good evening. Uh, Orb505, good evening. Uh, do D429UK, D D I hope you're well too. Uh, Undisclosed Power, hello. Hello, Jeff. Uh, hello, Playmoto, who is running the, uh, running the, keeping the, the, the law in order down there. Hi, Red One Falcon. Hey, J Doe. Uh, Moztastic, hi. Uh, Watford Trebor, hello. Uh, Hexdot, hi. Animal, hi. Jesper, hi. Uh, TJ Marshalls, hello. Uh, Gamer514, hello. Time is running out. Uh, Kevin the Angry Koala, Wookie, uh, Phil, so solid. Uh, that's it. No, you're done. There you go. That's it. Uh, apart from Happy Day 933 who says hello from Wigan. Um, and there you go. Uh, Rip Stream Helmet. Uh, right, okay, so on with, uh, on with the business. Um, uh, your mods this evening are Playmoto and Pixelator. Uh, they're both lovely people. Um, and they're Dutch, so they put up with nothing. Uh, so, you know, behave yourselves. Uh, uh, the, the Sarge is available for, uh, for anybody who needs assistance. Um, and uh, there we go. Uh, Referic, hello, Colonel. I like your streams. I like your YouTube business. Uh, but I don't like the old walls of homes, which are begging to be replaced by train tracks in this game. Bring out the bulldozer in this stream, please. The bulldozer is pretty much a foregone conclusion. Isn't it? Uh, I mean, you know, we, we live, therefore we bulldoze, friends. And uh, look at the <coughs> punchy train action just to get things rolling. Right, okay, let's zoom out and, and uh, get on with some action. Uh, as if you didn't know already, we're sat outside Sioux Falls here. Ah, oh, like an idiot. You know what I haven't done? Hold on, just let me load the map in. I'll go for a quick spin round here. <laughs> do, 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 do. Do, 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 boink. Right, okay, uh, so we're back in business. I haven't done any more building plonking uh, since uh, since you were last here. I decided that uh, uh, that I'd do this live. Um, and uh, part of the reason for, for this evening's stream, well, partly I had uh, Rise of Industry to post yesterday. I hope you've all watched it. It is uh, it's quite good, and I've made an arse of it already. So uh, so go tune in. It's It's business as usual there and if you haven't watched me do mountain biking uh, some people say it's the funniest thing i've ever done that might just be me of course but uh you know realistically it is probably quite funny um uh, but uh the reason for streaming today is that uh a few people have been mentioning in the metropolis series so far that the fact that i am so heavily reliant on uh on pork barrels is undermining the inherent fun in a in a Colonel Failure series, where uh, where I constantly battle against my own idiocy, uh, in order to try and uh, and try try and get some success out of things. Uh, so the aim of the game this evening is uh, I mean, we'll make some progress, but fundamentally we're going to kill off the port barrels, uh, or rather make it so that I'm not using any more. Whew. There we go. Um, so there we go. Uh, th that's the uh, that's the goal. Uh, but we'll start out, we'll have a look at the, uh, the Profitron here. And uh, as you can see, we are 600 grand up so far this year. Uh, what I've, I've spent some money, I spent 110 on, uh, on some, uh, what are they called? Trees, that's what they're called. I spent 110 grand on some, uh, 110 quid on some trees. And, uh, and, and there it is. And it's, look, profit, profit people. Yeah, yeah, already profitable. Uh, we lost a million last year. We're a million up this year, and uh, and that's in no small order due to the extra housing that I've got in here because it's meaning that the uh, the commuter line is running with some passengers on board. It's getting uh, it's getting close to being full each time. 
Uh, what about, uh, let's go a quick refer. I, I might move the chat windows around. When I take a break, I'll move things around so I'm not looking quite so, quite so far in that direction. Um, will this be on YouTube later? Yes, it will. I'm gonna, I'm gonna chop it up. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be next week's uh, adventures because I've got, uh, I've got other fish to fry. I'm trying to get, trying to get ahead of the game a little bit. Uh, right. So uh, next up, let's have a look at our, uh, our town populations at the moment because uh, uh, we haven't really looked at that so far. And it's Detroit leading the way, followed by Vancouver and El Paso, and then Sioux Falls and Grand Junction and Brussels. Those are all of the towns that we have hooked up to date. Well, that's, that's quite nice to, to show that we're, we're leading the way with our own facilities. Uh, we've got the flashy window going on. Um, Detroit's complaining about not being able to get to Brussels. El Paso's complaining about not being able to get to Detroit. Grand Junction is complaining about not being able to get to Detroit. Uh, and Rill are complaining about not being able to get to Vancouver. I'll, I'll try and fix those up as well. Um, but, you know, pff, when, when do I really care? Uh, and then, uh, no, we, we're not quite finished on the charts and tables here. Let's have a look at, uh, see what's actually making me some, some cash. So it's the, uh, it's the fuel service, predictably, that is making the money right now, and it's running full, which is, uh, well, it's a good sign and a bad sign at the same time, uh, although Hubs Oil is only running at uh, a third capacity right now, which probably means I've got a lot of fuel sitting in, I've got, I'll walk you through the line um, so that you're up to speed. So, uh, so here's the, uh, the oil train here, come on, come on there we go, uh, currently carrying 47 and uh, it's taken it up to the uh, up to the distribution hub here, uh, where we do have quite a lot of fuel waiting, particularly to go to El Paso. Um, okay, well, where's my uh, where's my El Paso train? Uh, there's one. There it is now. Uh, now that's got a capacity of 98, uh, and then when you get to El Paso itself, we've got. We've only got 16 waiting, so that'll clear before the train gets back in. And obviously, the more you um, uh, the more you stack up goods as you go down the line, the slower the originating services produce. So, uh, so if you want those to be profitable, you need them producing all along the way. Uh, number two is the Sioux Falls Mainline 2, 27 out of 280. That's pretty good. Uh, the commuter's running 218 of 336, and that's where I'm going to turn my attention first. Uh, because I think we can we can get a bit more money out of that. Uh, I also I'm going to kill line two because that has no right to uh, exist on God's clean earth. Uh, where are we? You there? Be gone. Thank you. Uh, no, no, no. Close the wrong window there. Let's, uh, let's bring us back up again. And then uh, we have uh, so uh, the station shuttles are more or less breaking even. Um, uh, Brussels, Vancouver isn't quite there yet. Detroit, Brussels isn't quite there yet. Detroit, Vancouver isn't quite there yet. Um, and then uh, the the Sioux Falls fuel bulk line that'll make it that'll that'll bring it drag its its sorry behind slowly towards a bit of profitability there um, uh, as we get uh, as it gets its next delivery on. It's just not delivering very fast, so I might look to replace the locomotive on there pretty quickly. Uh, but as you can see, while I've been rattling away there, we've made a million and a bit uh, in extra bank. So that's that's all right then, isn't it? Um, there we go. Uh, right, so uh, what have we got going on in the chat here? Mm, yes, uh, it's three A's in UR, just so you know, if you want to trigger that particular chat command. Um, uh, good. Right. Uh, what's on my chart? It's a red star uh, is on this evening's shirt. Here we go. The red star. Uh, that's that's not a political message. That's just I like the look of having a red star on a T-shirt. Uh, ironically, I'm not trying to sell a Colonel Failure T-shirt to you this evening, except verbally. Buy a t Colonel Failure T-shirt. Uh, everybody likes them. You'll be very popular. Uh, there you go. Someone in the chat will furnish you with a link there. Uh, why aren't you in you? Uh, exclamation mark uniform, I think. Maybe. Um, anyway, right. So Detroit has got a few problems in terms of uh, the old profit going on here. Uh, just want to make sure we, ha we don't have any queues going on. Now, I think this turnaround we've got on the commuter is, uh, is hindering its ability to be profitable. 
um, because it's it's an extra bit of track, and I'll uh, I'll resolve that in time. But what I do like is that uh, is that there's no uh, there's no backing around on itself there. The train is always facing forwards, except at the other end at Sioux Falls, of course. Um, so uh, so there you go. Uh, right, uh, Soviet colonel. Well, it's it, it's more Chinese than it is Soviet, I guess. But uh, but there you go. Um, Right, now then, in order to get the commuting service operational, and this guy has volunteered uh, for the cause immediately, we're going to sell one of these trains. Because I'm currently running six on that line, and I figure that by slowing that down to five uh, will be a good thing. Let's, uh, let's ride along just for a couple of minutes here, and I'll, uh, I'll chuck in some chat. Uh, I'm, I'm, if I were sponsored by Red Star Beer, uh, I'd be up for that. Um, that's that's good. Incidentally, um, I am looking for a channel sponsor. No, 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 not money. No. Uh, if you run a company of any kind, uh, even better if it's not game related. Um, but if you run a company of any line, uh, any uh, uh, any kind, and your company fancies being the sponsor of a series that I'm doing, get in touch. Uh, my email address can be found uh, in the about section of my YouTube channel. I'm going to be, that's it, just, just completely vague, but I'm looking for a sponsor for a series. It's going to cost you nothing at all. Uh, it's going to be such and such, brought to you in association with your company name here. Uh, I'm not going to make fun of your company. Um, no, not even slightly, but there you go. So that's something that else is coming up there. There you are. So if that's you, get in touch. Uh, right. Obviously, you can't, unless you have the authority to speak on behalf of your company, don't get in touch. Um, okay, right, so we're riding this back down to the engine sheds, and actually this is quite a nice route, and I've not, uh, I've not fully ridden it uh, since, since performing some upgrades, so I think we might sit on board for a minute or two here. Why, why on earth not? Um, but I want to spend some cash on, uh, on upgrading some of these older locomotives, but I might wait for the next one to come in. I think the, uh, the Atlantic is due um, uh, before too long. Uh, quality of stream is bad, says Playmoto. Uh, quality of stream looks okay from here, uh, but do let me know if the uh, if it looks choppy for any reason, and I'll uh, I'll I'll start hitting things with hammers and and see how that helps. Also, it doesn't help that I'm a I'm a disembodied torso just floating in the wilderness when we're in uh, when we're in camera view here. Uh, well, we'll 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 see. Um, it was fine before hopping on the train. Well, my frame rate's good. Uh, but, uh, you know, who, uh, who knows? It's the bit rate. Oh, don't be like that. That's only because he's doing this. Well, let's jump out of camera view and see if that helps. Um, see, I'm no longer disembodied, neither. I'm, I'm, I'm sat comfortably behind the, uh, behind the bar at the bottom. Uh, let's follow along instead here. Uh, well, it'll probably settle down. Uh, if, it's, uh, if, it's, if it's a connectivity thing, unfortunately, there's only so many things I can hit with hammers. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's absolutely the bit rate. Well, the good news is I'm recording it locally. So, uh, so you'll be able to... I mean, at the moment, you're just going to have to imagine... Thank you, autosave. You're the real hero. Um, uh, you're just going to have to imagine that it's running completely smoothly because it is actually running completely smoothly. We've got a beautiful shot... Of, uh, of the desert here um, and, uh, and will surely be out of the tunnel um, before too long. Uh, probably just a bit rate glitch there folks. Um, go for the Mr. Demon look, yes absolutely. Uh, here we go, right now then. I've, what I've managed to achieve so far actually in this series is, is I've got a goodly amount uh, of station infrastructure built up and, uh, and that's going to put me in good stead later on uh, once I start getting the uh, the money to uh, to really ramp up the number of trains right um, uh, my my overall hope is that a station like Sioux Falls is going to be ridiculously busy but actually it probably won't be the busiest one out there uh, the busier ones are going to be uh, stations that have two-way traffic as you there's some kind of massacre going on in this town it's very noisy it's probably fine probably Probably fine, I would have thought. More, more likely than not, it's it's fine. Um, there we go. Oh, ooh, look, there's a shop that pays you rent. Very nice. Uh, 
well, this is, this is all, this is all just terrific. Uh, this was well worth riding along. Uh, as soon as we're done with this, I'll stop mucking about and I'll get on with it. Um, but it's always nice to, uh, to, to ease our way into things, I've always said. Um, and if I haven't, then I probably should have done. Uh, there we go. Doesn't this map have two rivers in it? It does have two rivers. I'm concerned by the lack of... Uh, what have I done to the environment? I haven't done anything to it. Uh, but what I will be doing is, uh, is activating the tree gun uh, in the fullness of time. Uh, here we go. We've got another, another good bit of train passing action here. Beautiful. Uh, right, we shall switch out to the uh, to the slow motion uh, kernel tracking cam here. And unfortunately, due to the pace of these trains, uh, they can't keep pace with the camera. But that's that's not bad, is it? That's that's pretty nice. Completely barren section of ready to receive inhabitants town line there. Uh, as we uh, as we head towards uh, Sioux Falls, having come through El Paso. Uh, there are some ploppables. I'm keeping my eyes open for uh, for anything that has that has actually been built by the AI. Um, but I think if uh, if that's going to happen at all, it will do once we get much bigger town growth going on. Uh, so uh, so we'll 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 just we'll just see how we get on. Can, am I going to overtake the train? Yes, we are. We are catching up with the locomotive here, but we do want to see it take the corner. There we go. Uh, bit of bit of corner action coming up, and then everything will be amazing, as you know. It's just good, uh, and you know, to go back to the the first episode in the series, uh, the the part of the reason for the port barrels is so that I could have a whole bunch of steam trains running at once. Instead of uh, instead of like you know two or three and go, why gosh, I'm making so much progress, uh, when you've only got two or three locomotives uh, in your whole network, it's that's quite poor. I wanted a whole bunch of steam trains going, and uh, and that's what I've got. What I need is more routes. Um, so we'll uh, we'll just have to see how it's going. Good evening, Aussie farmer. Nice to see you. Um, uh, and uh, right, okay, here we go. You you need a Colonel Failure drinking game. Whatever it is you decide to set as the rules for the drinking game is going to hurt. Because I, I repeat myself so frequently that, that you're, you're sure to just do yourself a mischief. So I cannot condone it, um, as hilarious as it may be, and always drink responsibly. I am family friendly. Uh, right, okay, let's, uh, let's see the back end of this one, and then that'll take us up to four and a half million quid. That's a good sign. 2.8 so far this year. That train got me... What is that? 680. Okay, well, that's, this is all jolly promising. Um, so that should impact the profitability of the uh, of the commuter line, should make that one a little bit stronger. Uh, I just want to check on the oil line again. There we go. See, oil's picked back up again. This all looks grand. Okay, smashing. Let's build something, shall we? Um, right. Sideshow Bob stacking on rates, groan noise. Oh, yeah, I, I do that occasionally. Right, here are the plans, folks. Um, so, as we can see already, we have uh, two more lines to come out of Sioux Falls, two more to come out of El Paso. Uh, and Indianapolis is going to be one target. Uh, Krakow is going to be the other. Uh, and then from Indianapolis, we'll also run to Krakow, obviously enough, and then to Brussels as well. Uh, Brussels will run Krakow direct as well as Barcelona uh, and Wellington, probably Shanghai. That's getting way into the future. Um, uh, Low-hanging fruit, as far as new connections are concerned. Uh, I think Rill is, uh, is just sat there beckoning in that way that the Welsh so frequently do. Uh, and uh, and that's, that's quite tempting to reach out to quickly because I could, uh, I could run a, a Vancouver to Rill uh, to Grand Junction kind of loop. You know, I've said that out loud now, and I think that that actually might be a really, really, really nice idea. Uh, yeah, we'll see. I've only got three, uh, three, six, eight in the bank at the moment, and uh, my loan is currently maxed. Um, if I can, if I have to pork barrel in order to to keep the narrative flowing, friends, as I, I will do. Um, but I'm I'm going to resist it for all I'm worth uh, for now. 
Uh, bridges are about 5 million one track, by the way, and you know, 1.5 the other track. I've been playing this map. Ah, okay, good. That's that's worth knowing. Um, uh, then we also have Brussels. Now, we need to originate some services out of Brussels because that will allow us to, uh, to institute a, a, a European train or two. Um, and... Uh, Given that we are running an international uh, setup here, I think that's that's possibly a good idea. Also, a good idea would be to get this done before the AI uh, completely swamps uh, downtown Brussels with uh, with all manner of of build as it is currently endeavouring to do. Uh, and then the other project that uh, that I want to do relatively quickly um, is uh, is to set up uh, food production. Food production being the other easy one, uh, although you've got construction materials as well, but food production ticks off the, the commercial box, right? And, uh, and that, will, that will yield uh, a little more growth there. Now, I've had a fish around for food production. Good news, there's food, right? There's, there's the raw materials. The bad news is the processing of said raw materials doesn't happen for absolutely miles. Uh, so you're the closest... Um, I can't even remember where it was. It's that far away. There we go. I think the closest is just outside Krakow. Um, uh, so what we'd be doing is we'd be peeling off this way, probably piggybacking on whatever service we've got heading out to the main station there, and then uh, and then picking up some food, uh, uh, dropping off, picking up food, bringing it back, distribute via hub. There are easier ways to do this, you know, um, but uh, but that's the that's the challenge. And this hub is going to become enormous over time. It'll it, it, once I engage like sixteen platform uh, mods later on, that's going to be good as well. Uh, I could have a TGV route that runs between all main hubs in each region. I think we're a little bit early to be thinking TGV just yet. Uh, food and processing near Barcelona, yes. There is, which might actually be the simpler way, but the reason for uh, for looking at this one is it would mean that I could take uh, cattle out, bring food back, and that will be a very profitable service. Um, if I were to do it this way, then we'd end up with uh, uh, you know with a, with a train that doesn't do very much, unless we do it in multi stages, right? So we could do a hub train that takes uh, no. Yeah, no, yeah, yes, you, you oh yes. Uh, so you take cattle from here to there, bring back food, mm, uh, and then uh, and then bring back food over here as a separate line. Now that means a lot of nice straight lines going on there, uh, but the overall effect is is uh, is no cleaner. Um, effectively, since when did the colonel do easy? Thank you, Badiraki. You're absolutely you're absolutely spot on. Hub to hub. Ooh, another hub idea. Uh, Nupiu, good evening. Um, uh, yes. So I think the overall cost of that, let's price something up here. Uh, let's, let's just price it inefficiently and, and see what we're looking at and hope we don't crash the game in the process. Uh, so that's 14 million if I don't give due care and attention. Now, I could port barrel that and we could have that now if you like, but uh, we're trying to avoid doing that. That said, adding food into the mix uh, would make the old uh, uh, the old debt go down a little bit faster. Uh, but it feels like you know, it, it feels like what I'm trying to avoid. Here's the other option, of course, is we create a second hub just outside Brussels, uh, where you can go. You know, easy food, easy food, easy food, easy food. Uh, you could even do a truck-based delivery to Dortmund and Brussels. I mean, that's cheap and cheerful. Uh, I don't think there's much demand in Dortmund at the moment, to be honest, but uh, but that's another option. I'll, I'll get off the fence and I'll make a decision in a minute. Um, do we want to do one more passenger? Let's do one more passenger route first, and then we'll, uh, we'll, then we'll see where we are. Uh, because before you know it, I'm going to be looking at, uh, at train upgrades, and that's not, going to be, uh, that's not going to be simple. We could do a hub per continent. And then distribute from hub to hub, which I think somebody else has, has already suggested. Um, yeah, not uh, not bad. Uh, name a river city Baghdad. Uh, the, the city names have been selected, I'm afraid. Um, we've gone, gone Shanghai and Wellington in rest of world. Um, so unfortunately, not this time. 
Uh, but I'm already starting to, to brew ideas for what I want to do next. Uh, and, it, and if a mod maker out there wants to create a uh, place your own town on the map mod, I'll be first in line to use it. Uh, yeah, I mean, sign me up. I'll, uh, I'll take that and ride it home all day. Uh, but uh, at the moment, no such thing exists. Right then, okay, we're going to do Vancouver Rill and uh, Rill Grand Junction. I think four and a half million should be enough to, uh, to cover the cost of this one. Uh, it's not the most complex in the world. Uh, or I should hope it's not the most complex in the world. The only thing that's going to be expensive is, uh, is tunneling through here from Vancouver. Uh, let's get a let's get a price check, please. And okay, if we go in a straight line, it's like two million. Yeah, now that's quite a lengthy tunnel. We could always uh, we could always go around the outside, I suppose, and and maybe have a, a micro tunnel here. In fact, that's not even a tunnel. That's just a that's just a gouge through the landscape, uh, which is always going to be a little bit cheaper, and we could replace it with a more direct route later on. So the question is, where does Rill want its station? Now I think the uh, the best place for it is going to be on the outside of on the on the outskirts here. Uh, as much as I don't have the I don't have the dosh to uh, to just bulldoze the entire town. I know. Um, uh, we're we're just going to have to look at it as a uh, uh, as a you know. A lesser town somehow. There you go. Our uh, first bulldoze of the day has been committed by me, Colonel Failure. Uh, right, let's grab us a station. Now then, do we need to flex this at all? If we're coming up from Grand Junction and we're coming up from Vancouver, no, we don't. Uh, and we will run with really just two tracks. Yeah, well, it's on the edge of the map. It's on. The, it's at the. Uh, it's at the northmost edge. So. Uh, I don't see we'll need to go any further than that, but we'll uh, we'll make it good and long so that it's uh, it's proofed for the future. Future proof. That's what we that's what we say there. Our second street. We'll have that ready to rock and roll. Uh, you know what? Actually, I might go three tracks with this and have a, a middle platform free, uh, and then we'll have a, a bypass track for any freight in the future. There we go. I've done it. There you go. It's done. Hey, we don't know. We're not flexing yet. I don't have the uh, don't have the money for for too much flexation at this time, uh, but hopefully in the future that will be a uh, that will be a thing. That's a nice bit of straight road, isn't it? Go on, go straight. There you go. Uh, I'll smash that out there. It's a little closer to the station than is desirable. Uh, let's go for about here. I think. There you go. Yeah, that'll do. All right, and we'll just do a bit of that. That's not going to stop them complaining, of course, because none of this is connected to the other side, so I'm going to do the inevitable pop bridge over the top uh, maneuver in a moment. Um, but before that, I'm going to do... I, I, don't, ooh, I don't know how this is going to work, to be honest. Uh, we've, we've got three tracks to play with here. Uh, do we want to run this down, or do we want to keep it on the flat, which will help with a bit of bridge building? Let's keep it on the flat. Obviously, I should have evaluated this before placing the station, but we've uh, we've kind of committed to that now, um, which is super. Uh, now that we're going to need to, what I want here is I want a, a big diamond, and I mean herself wants a big diamond as well. She she mentions this to me on a repeated basis, but that's a sli slightly different uh, slightly different story. Uh, oh, go on! I was I was hoping that would work. Because that would look brilliant. Now, I know it works with four tracks. Maybe I've just not tried, no, just not quite gone far enough. No? No? Anyone in the chat there? Anyone seen this being done before? Because um, that would be, that would be simply, uh, I mean, to, to quote the Crankies, that would be fan dabby dozy. Uh, but I'm not feeling it. It doesn't even want to doesn't want to recognise that that's a thing. Uh, it's not on a slope; it's flat. I assure you, it's flat. The ground is sloping. The track is flat. Track is definitely flat. Uh, right. Let's uh, let's try it again. I'll try it a little bit shorter, 
uh, because sometimes that will that will get you the result that you're after. No, 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 no. Start there. Come to about here. Too much curvature. All right, we'll keep going till. All right, you've just laid exactly the same thing again, haven't you? And don't. I don't think so. Try and make it a one line a bit longer. Start to cross over further down. Okay, we can do that. I'm all about making things a bit longer than they need to be. Uh, let's uh, let's try that. So there we go. Keep this flat, and uh, and we'll come out a little bit further. And the good news is that this isn't, uh, it'd be easier on Railway Empire. Oh, you joker. Oh, aren't you funny? Uh, yes, wouldn't it just be easier on Railway Empire? I got told off for that. Being, being mean about Railway Empire not being transport fever. Um, uh, no, no, that's not going to do it. Right, try starting in line with the points. It will usually snap. That's the end of the station. So it will usually snap to your, to the whatever point you're using already. It'll do that. There's no there's nothing helpful in there. I'm going to have to multi-stage this, I think, um, which is which is less elegant. But this is definitely not playing the ball game. Um, there you go. And if it's not going to play the ball game, then then there's uh, there's no other way to it. Uh, we would have deleted all the tracks by this point and, and set for one train per track, which is which is how you really should be doing it anyway. Uh, let's see if we can turn this into a... Here we go, here's a, here's a plan B for you. Let's see if I can Y-junction this. Oh, go on, that feels, that feels like a thing it should do. Uh, go on, go on, go on. No, sir. Now, I know on the workshop there is a Swanky Junctions mod, um, which I haven't quite got to yet. I uh, do like a Y shape if the middle chain was the middle of the Y. Yeah, I just, I just tried that, Steve. It's, uh, it's not biting, mate. Uh, it's not going for it. Um, so I don't know, we could try it that way, where we've gone from the snap point. No, it's, it's just not having it. Do you really mean this in the first place? Uh, right. Okay. Well. Okay. That's. Um, it doesn't really matter as long as it as long as it gets the job done. Uh, then we'll do one over here. Do, hold on. What job is it you're trying to get done here? Uh, well, that's that's a valid question, isn't it? Um, here we go. We can do that. Get rid of it, and then we'll just stick one set of points in here, like that. Uh, we'll slip junction this, and that should suffice for the time being. So everything coming in is going to come up here, like so, and they can go into one of two platforms there, and then on the way back out again, we just need one from here onto there, and it means that we're we're miss a, we're, we're abusing that that middle platform for the time being, but we'll come up with a more robust solution in the future. And look at that for a bit of bridge on the horizon there. Ooh, that's a that's a sight to behold. So it is. Uh, right now, then Grand Junction. Where's my uh, Where's my best bet station from Grand Junction? Well, it's not going to be that side, is it? That's that's way too much curvature. Although you do get a really nice route along the along the coast. All right, let's go for that. It's also quite complicated as far as trains are concerned. So uh, so that's going to be quite an adventure. Uh, right, let's uh, if we start here. And then come round to about there. How's that? How's that feel? Yeah. All right. Okay. It's the. Uh, it's going to be the new. Uh, the new Riverbank special. This one. How's that look? It looks okay. Uh, the middle isn't a platform. Yes. Thank you. Uh, the middle isn't a platform. The middle is not a platform. Okay, but it still works. Everything still works there. Probably, probably. Everything probably still works there. Actually, probably doesn't. Okay, I'll need to revisit that. Thank you. Yes, that's a very valid point. Um, uh, yes. Oh, nuts. Um, but, you know, there it is. Uh, such is such is life. Uh, right, let's finish this off anyway. Uh, we'll, we'll slip this junction just purely because why wouldn't you? And uh, and then we'll carry on our merry way. 
hey game, I'm carrying on my merry way. What's your malfunction here? Yeah, you had a moment there where I thought, oh no, not in the middle of a stream. Although I do have a button just for such an occasion. Uh, I might deploy that button just for laughs in a minute. Um, right, we'll carry on around there. I know this is going to be an incredibly slow and inefficient route. Uh, but it's also going to be beautiful and a big hit with the tourists. Uh, and if you're thinking of taking your special someone uh, on a train ride for Valentine's Day, I can't recommend a trip to Rill enough. Uh, it is the finest Valentine's destination one could ever imagine. Um, uh, right, good. Right, there we go. But what, push the everything's broken button? No, 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 I've only been going 35 minutes. It's far too soon for me to declare everything broken. Um... Uh, I'll save it until everything does break. You'll just have to wait and see. Uh, it'll be a rare highlight, and I've not, I've not made this 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 track follow a good route in the slightest. I've got obsessed with uh, how clever I am about having a everything's broken button. Look at that! What a waste of money, uh, especially since I'm trying not to spend too much money and just make some cash here. Right there we go. I hope you like bulldozer noises. Uh, gonna have to come back a little further still. Right, now follow this around the corner. Now this is very much a line suited to the Steam Age, given that it's not particularly quick. Uh, but the knock-on effect that this will have on other tracks uh, should be somewhat profound. Uh, should be, is the, uh, is the operative uh, part of that particular statement. Right, there we go. That's uh, that's good, and we've we've still got this gougy bit going on here. Now, I think when I get round to doing a bit of decorating later on, as I I, I certainly will, um, I'll uh, I'll do something with that that makes it special and lovely. Uh, right. So, as was correctly pointed out, the middle track is not a platform. So once again, we're tearing all of this up, uh, and then we shall. Uh, well, if you think about how trains are coming in, you're going to want to run this way, like that. And you're going to want to run this way, like that. And then everyone coming in this direction will have the option to go wherever the hell they like. Uh, we'll fling that out around the corner like this. Uh, we'll have this merging off of this one, which arguably would lead to that, uh, that first junction being completely unnecessary. This is a good thing. Okay, right, which means we can make the second one. Let's delete it again. I've not had enough of deleting this section yet. I'm going to delete it all day long because it's making me ever so happy. Uh, like so. That will do the job. One simple junction. Uh, right, okay, follow this back around. Now, I think I'm going to run... A, I want to get it under 10 minutes, uh, the, the, the turnaround there. Uh, Killer Cans has just hosted me with 17 whole viewers. Thanks, Killer Cans. Uh, for those who don't follow Killer Cans and his mods on Steam, uh, you really should. Uh, especially if you're a sucker for a for a, a British diesel locomotive of some description. Uh, Killer Cans is the man's. Uh, also in the chat is Onion Jack, who you should also be following, because uh, if you like Volvos, so does Onion Jack. Rather too much, if you ask me. Um, the, the man has a, 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 a Volvo fixation which borders on unhealthy, uh, but uh, it's a very nice Volvo. Uh, trucks, that is, rather than cars. Although I think he's made the. Have you made, have you made a, a, an Onion Jack um, uh, the, the car as well? If you haven't, I drive a Volvo. Um, you know, I think uh, I think that's something that uh, you know. Get an S60 made. Call it Colonel Failure's Volvo S60. And, uh, I don't know, I'll, I'll send you a t-shirt. There you go. How about that? Um, right, okay, now then, round the corner, and we're up, and we're there. I've, I've built a route there, people, while chuntering on. Now, I realise that's business as usual, but it feels to me like there was more chuntering than, than perhaps usual there. Uh, right. And I've still got three million quid in the bank with which to buy some chuffer trains. Uh, right, let's, uh stick a signal there. I've got a lot of signal action going up here. And someone mentioned that I had a signal in the wrong place somewhere. Uh, if you spot it, yell. Okay? Uh, you're on the lookout for a misplaced signal. There is one somewhere in the network. Uh, probably one of you remembers where that is. Um, 
Uh, where's the code orange alarm sound? I turned the code orange alarm sound off because uh, uh, once every uh, every viewer in the channel realized they could make the code orange alarm sound just trigger all on its own, everyone was hosting with themselves as the one viewer. Now, I appreciate people doing that. Um, that's, that's a whole lot of fun, uh, but it got a bit silly now, didn't it? Uh, particularly because the code orange noise was quite noisy. Um, so, uh, so there you go. Uh, ah, the track from Grand Junction to Real isn't built properly. The track to Grand Junction isn't snapped correctly. Shouldn't matter. Uh, Mr. Scoot or Mrs. Coot. Uh, okay, could be either. Uh, it's... Uh, no, no, no. This is all good. This is all good. That's all good. Uh, we've got a... Yeah, I mean, there, there may be a gap in the ballast somewhere. But not that I'm seeing. This is Grand Junction, isn't it? Yeah, sure it is. Yep, that's all fine. It looks good. This all looks fine. Don't, uh, don't, you know... We'll wait, and plus, as you well know, the, the greatest level of entertainment that I can possibly offer is something not going quite right because I made a hash of it. Um, uh, you know, that's that's the perfect time to uh, to you know wheel out the bulldozer again and go. Oh, why is this not working? At which I get to demonstrate my Hercule Poirot esque abilities at, uh, at detecting problems and resolving them accordingly. Uh, uh, there, you, there you go. There. Uh, right. Okay. Now then. If we're coming back out from this platform, we can't get over onto this side. Okay, that's a problem. There you go. See, I've identified another problem, and, and what do you know? I'm deleting the same piece of track all over again. Here's some bits that are missing ballast. I, yeah, I mean, that's, that's perfectly reasonable to point out. Uh, but it shouldn't interfere with the smooth operation of, uh, of the situation. Uh, now, you need to be gotten at from this side. You also need to be able to get out that way. Do you? Yes, you do. Uh, and then, so you're coming in like this. I need you to be able to get out on that side. That's fine. Um, we'll just double that one, and that should do the trick. Potentially, I could work for network rail. Uh, how many times have I deleted the same piece of track? I, I don't think I'm done yet. <laughs> I I think we have I think we have some more some more deletion still to come there because uh, I'm still not happy with it. And let's face it, I do want to connect it to Vancouver as well, which will lead me to to redevelop the whole thing. So uh, if you want to keep a running tally of exactly how many times that bit of junction is uh, is removed. That would be just dandy. Uh, right, okay, so what makes sense as far as a route is concerned? Uh, what have we got going on here already? Uh, I haven't got anything selected. So we've got Brussels, Vancouver. Yes, and then we've got Detroit, Vancouver. All right, now we could blow off Detroit, Vancouver. We could edit that, uh, and we'll call this uh, Detroit to Rill. Uh, Right, which is also going to save me money on trains. Oh, what do you know? Uh, so, right, we remove uh, the couve and we add rill, which doesn't rhyme, uh, but but that's okay too. Uh, let's have a look and see what the uh, the auto routing here has opted to do with itself. Pretty much what I expected. That's okay. That's all good. Right. Um, the the good townsfolk of rill there have already decided to get. Why am I paused? We're not going to make our fortune if I'm paused. Come on. Right, they're already building, look, in anticipation of, uh, of future prosperity. Uh, and that's that's grand. Now, we might want to look at the uh, the catchment area we've got here and, uh, and, and maybe, you know, actually build some catchment into this. We'll put a, we'll put a little commuter route on here uh, just to get things moving along. And actually, the number of towns that I've got commuting services on so far is quite laughable. Um, I, uh, I'm certainly not going to uh, not going to prosper doing it like that. Uh, right, okay, now then. Uh, every time I delete and rebuild, shot. Uh, yeah, good luck with that. I hope you haven't got plans for tomorrow. If, if, if that is the caper you wish to get into, uh, you know, make sure you've got some, some aspirin. I wouldn't drink anything too strong. Uh, right, let's, uh, let's pop a wheelie over here, shall we? 
I know this is where you're going, no, you're building the bridge wrong. You shouldn't build bridges like that. You should build them a different way. And then you don't get this little bendy bit here, which is actually very true. Uh, I'm going to have a try at building the bridge the way that everybody tells me I should build bridges. Uh, which means we'll eyeball what looks like a straight line going that way. Okay, I'm going to build out a large street because, because that's how I like to roll. Uh, and we'll start about here. Right, and we'll we'll uh, we'll raise her up a little bit. That's it. That's good. And then we'll raise her up a little bit more. No, no. What you're trying to do there is is really not the plan. Uh, keep going this way. There we go. Yeah, yeah. You've turned into a bridge. It's kind of what I wanted. Uh, you will notice today's uh, today's mod of the day has turned up, um, which I'm terrified of, but I'm going to have a proper look at in a little while. Um, there we are, right, okay, so we've gone that far, do we need to go, yes, we do, uh, we've gone up as far as there, give me the, give me the good green stuff, please, thank you, take that, okay, so that was, uh, that was up, up twice-ish, I suppose, hey, look, there's a train, first train out of Rill, and indeed into Rill, uh, Rill's first train, uh, celebrations all round, uh, right, okay, now we'll build out of here, this is not going to lead to the straightest of straight bridges, but it should do the job. Um, uh, viaduct mod, yes, uh, the viaduct mod. I have never used it properly, so uh, so that's why I have selected it, such that I may use it properly. There we go. That looks like that looks like a bridge to me. Sold. There we go. That's uh, that's one half of the town connected to thin air, which is no 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 no. Whatever you're doing, stop doing that. Cancel. Flat, thank you. There you go. Connect up to this, and sac magique, uh, as they say on the old rag doll. Uh, that'll do. Yeah, that, that looks quite promising. Right, let's talk catchment areas here, people. Uh, so we haven't got. What are we missing out on here? Uh, well, that's that's kind of a big housing bit, and that's kind of a big industrial bit. Um, so, uh, so something that uh, that makes a makes makes sense of that. Uh, we'll go with a figure eight here, I think. Right, that captured a, a chunk of the uh, of the commercial as well. All right, and then if we do that, and then because I'm a I'm a hopeless optimist, uh, we'll do a bit of this. All right, and we'll do a bit of that. Yes. And then, uh, and then we'll stick a, an additional stop up here, which will capture the rest of the commercial and whatever grows out there. New vehicles. We've got the Canstat. We've got the PLM 220, and we've got a steak car for those of you who like steak. Um, and then the only thing that remains to do here is some kind of station-based uh, bus situation. Um, uh, right, what have we got here? Uh, anything chat going on in there? Uh, are you calling yourself Slim Gaming Channel these days, Slim? Um, that, that seems to be a, that seems to be a little bit excessive, doesn't it? A lot of words. Everyone knows you are Slim Gaming, the slimmest of all Slim gamers, uh, who games on the Slim in a Slim gamey kind of a way. Anyway, nice to see you. Uh, Right, and thrash that through there, because why Why go straight when you can put a wiggle on it? Uh, as uh, as my old uh, maths teacher used to tell me. Uh, right, let's, let's do something like that, and a bit of this, and that's all dandy. We've got dips and flips and twists and all kinds of nonsense going on in the road there. But when the AI decides it knows how to build again, it'll, it'll sort that out, probably. Uh, right, standard bus station. Now, these bus stations that I'm using now, these these terminals, um, I'm going to replace them later on uh, with sexy modern stuff and bulldoze anything that happens to get in my way while I do so. Uh, but for the time being, they are the uh, they are the optimum. So uh, we'll do. Uh, well, which way do we want to go here? We'll go that way, and then over here, and then over there, and then back to base, and then we'll go back here. And then up there, and then through here, and back to base, smashing, 
and that's what we call a where are you going well you've chosen a, a, a slightly baffling route there but i've done it right um okay that's going to need at least four on that in order to make sense uh so this is going to be we need a four letter code for real i think it's going to be real um uh real uh, commuter I, I don't even know if that's the naming convention I've gone with. Hold on, please, uh, please stay with me here. We've got real commuter. Yes, no, we haven't. We've gone with uh, yes, we have. Right, commuter. There we go. Station shuttle. In fact, we don't call them commuters anymore. Oh my gosh, I'm using terminology from the last series. Uh, station shuttle. Uh, new series, new terminology. You know the rules. Um, uh right okay splendid let's uh let's get a depot on there and get some uh get some stuff built uh now with the can stat available the other the other bonus we've got going on there is that i can start deploying some trucks that are actually worth anything uh instead of uh instead of the wagons that we're using right now and that will be exciting uh passengers i think it's going to be the oblacent i think it is uh one two three four please five because i feel lucky uh set line onto the real station shuttle you know what we never take the time to look at buses so uh so let's uh let's just admire them as they uh, as they wend their way there you go and uh, we'll slow them down to uh, to a realistic tempo there you go enjoy the buses people magical what a moment uh, you'll be able to tell your friends I was there to watch the uh, the Oblacent there uh, making its maiden voyage in Brill, uh, diamond of uh, of the Welsh coastline. Uh, trams for the win. Where's the autobahn? Um, don't start with hot pink. Hot pink is so season two. Uh, we're on season four here, and uh, uh, and you know hot pink is just not not uh, not something we abide by in this dojo. Uh, not anymore. Uh, right, okay, so with a bit of luck, that'll pick up somewhat. Uh, let us go and see what else is afoot right now. Uh, so here comes a train. It's on the right side of the track with no passengers on board. That doesn't make any sense. You should have some passengers on board. Uh, let's set these signals up to be one way. I'm, I'm a total convert to one way signals these days uh, because, uh, well, it stops the train screwing up when I make a new route. Uh, right, let's have a look. So plenty of people want to go to Detroit, but nobody wants to go to Rill. Uh, well, the, what does that say uh, about uh, the jewel in the Welsh crown? Quite a lot, I would, uh, I would imagine. Right, now then, I'm going to get some... Uh, we've got a bit of a goods backlog here, haven't we? Just a little bit. Uh, but we can fix some of that if we, uh, if we upgrade these chaps here. So uh, if we stick the, the, the can stat, as much as we shouldn't stick the can stat, if we're being genuinely sticking to uh, to this being North American, then it should be the North Amer there should be the, the the horse cart on there, which is rubbish by comparison. Um, so I'm just going to put the best vehicle for the job because I'm trying to get out. I'm trying to make the money work. At the moment, trains, we will stick loyally to what we're supposed to be doing. Um, uh, but, uh, but horses, they, they, can, uh, they can fall by the wayside and we'll use something modern and tremendous. 260 grand worth every penny. Uh, and then we'll do the same down here as well. Although, arguably, no, that's not even the right station there. Uh... What was what was arguably arguably uh, Sioux Falls is not yet uh, receiving enough uh, enough freight for this to make sense, so we'll stick that on there, turn it on, replace it now, off your trot. Thank you very much. Don't wrap it. I'll ride it home. Uh, right, good. Let's have a look and see what we've got going on with goods. You are packing one forty of one forty, and we have an additional four hundred in stock. Meanwhile, waiting down here, we have 154, which will take that up to 290. Is this the fuel train? No, it's not. That's going to El Paso, and it's only got 37 on board. 
Okay, you're coming back. Here we go. You're coming back from the, the fuel processor. You've got 182, and you're doing a blistering 18 miles per hour. Surely no one can live at that speed. What are you, what are you running on there? Is that a mogul? I think it might be. What we do know is this is 7 million per vehicle. Now, uh, the Atlantic, it's, uh, it's 1890, folks. Uh, the Atlantic is due soon. Uh, so I think I'll hold off on upgrades uh, to, to the, uh, these locos until, until then. Uh, because that would actually get a little bit more going. Um, but we'll, uh, we'll, we'll see. Uh, you'll run two trains on that track. Could do. Um, but this, this track is already quite congested. And it's, and it's only congested because of the speed of the trains. So as you can see, this fella's going to be blocking the junction. Almost long enough to prevent this next, next, next chap turning off. Actually, it's all fine. And this is a, this is a humdinger of a, of a passing shot we've got going on here. See? A humdinger. Work of ruddy art, that is. So it is. Alright. Brilliant. Uh, okay. Well, uh, it's, it, it's working and it's definitely making money, so that's, uh, that's something. Uh, let's have a look back over here in, uh, in what will be known as Europe uh, soon enough. Now, we can either now do uh, a nice shuttle between Vancouver and Rill. That could work. Uh, has anybody actually wanted to go to Rill? Four people now want to go to Rill. God bless them. Um, uh, it's more. Double train it. Double train it. More pulling power. Yes, uh, it would. Uh, and it looks mega. A dinger of hum. Big boy yet. No, happy day. Get, get, we all love the big boy, but the big boy is the answer to too many problems. Uh, if, if anything, uh, part of me is thinking, oh, I'm going to resist using the big boy in this series. Uh, but I know for a fact I won't be able to because the big boy is just a wonder of life. Uh, and therefore, everybody should use it all the time for everything. Um, uh, right. Where are we heading here? Now then, we can take our next service. I think Vancouver Rill is the, uh, is the next on the to-do list. Uh... How, though, is going to be the, uh, the challenge. Uh, or rather, which of these tracks are we going to use? Now, the, all three of these tracks are going in the same direction to start with. It's a question of where they end up. Uh, we don't have any of these go... To, where do you go? You do go direct to Grand Junction. So the, all of these are coming straight through Rill, whether or not uh, they have a, a stop-off there. And that might actually make sense of the uh, of the middle track. Okay, if we're going to bypass some of this uh, some of this end bit of cliff, it's a cliff. Yeah, it's more like a, a slight a slight molehill. Yeah, right now then. Hey, look, it's another three track dilemma. Uh, let's uh, in fact let's merge this one a little earlier. Uh, because that will that will cause me less woe. There you go. Come on, give, cause me less woe immediately. All right. Yes, and then what? Something like that. Well, think about it. You're coming out this way. Yes. So that means that all three tracks can now go out that way. Good. Okay. You're coming in this way. You can't get to this one. Okay then. Well, how about if uh, if we turn this into a diamond, which the game will surely want to do? Transport fever, ladies and gentlemen, making diamond junctions possible. Uh, that's that dealt with, uh, and then we shall uh, we shall head around this corner like so. And we haven't actually lost a massive amount of speed in the process. In fact, we've even gone further around the corner than strictly speaking we needed to. Uh, let's get out as far as there. What does that look like? It's a bit of a gouge, but uh, but that doesn't that doesn't perplex me none. Um, uh, there we go. Yeah, there we are. Right, and uh, and we're all we're all good here. Right, there we go. That's round the corner. Now then, 
Uh, for those of you partaking in this evening's drinking game, charge your glasses because uh, it's about to it's about to happen again uh, as we uh, as we approach Rill. Uh, there is the likelihood that that no, there is the certainty that that junction is about to go bye bye once more. Uh, right, let's get ourselves just a little bit closer. I'm very pleased with how much money I've got as well. Uh, what are we looking at? Last year we topped out at three million. Yeah. Uh, this year, arguably, should be better. Hopefully. Although, I have spent half a million quid on, on, uh, on trucks, so, uh, so we probably won't hit that. Okay, right, here we go. Let's, uh, let's do it this way. Yeah, sound. That's, uh, that's solid thinking. There, that's that's kind of dealt with there. Now, now we're working out of a gully here, uh, but what's going to make sense is if I come tearing down here like I've got a purpose, uh, like so, and then uh, and then we come we come thrashing down on this one as well, and we turn that uh, the the former piece of track there into a uh, uh, into into a standard junction rather than the uh, rather than the mainstay. All right, yep, do that, and then connect up. That's good, and then we'll split this out here. This just makes this so much more straightforward to deal with. Right, actually, if I delete this bit back of it, that's good, and then we'll bring it out there in a way that maintains the speed, or maintains some of the speed. 60 is, yeah, that's more than fast enough. Uh, and then from there, we shall bring out... Uh, that side going over there. So you look at this. This is uh, this is masterpiece engineering in full effect. Providing this bit works as well. Yeah, not so much, huh? Uh, probably built it a little close to that junction. Hold up, hold everything. There is the the very real possibility I did not build it too close to that junction. That's too slow a corner. And. Uh, and we've got uh, we've got wonky ballast going on there as well. Okay, too close to the corner. Uh, we either remove, yeah, let's do that. Damn, I mean that that whole area is a war zone anyway, so uh, so we'll do it that way, and then we'll we'll build that around there like so, and then we'll bolt this on like this. Uh, this needs to cross over both tracks. Oh, we're getting up. To, this is a junction I like the looks of now. There we go. Right. I think that's got a little bit of a bow out that I wasn't too happy with. No, that's absolutely fine. There we go. Double that. Okay, good. It's uh, This is an iconic junction, this one. Um, if I could place a signpost, I'd even give it a name. Uh, bulldozed Junction. Uh, double slip it all. Have done. Uh, once you double slip, you know, oh, I might have missed one. Have done. Uh, there we go. Right. Uh, now I need some signals. That'll do. But no, it won't. We put one there as well. There isn't anywhere good to put signals out this side, though, is there? I mean, arguably there. Now, once Rill's connected up to the rest of the universe, uh, even that kind of signal won't be needed. Uh, but for the moment, it is. Uh, we're going to need some signals down here. Go on, there we are, and uh, and possibly a little further along the way as well. Now I've got three and a half million quid in the bank. Uh, okay, I don't have any loan available. I am resisting the use of the pork barrel, uh, for it is uh, diseased and full of filth. Uh, so we're going to possibly end up with just one train on here to start with. If that, I love how I've made those completely even. That's. That's just a, a master at work. That is uh, flawless execution right there. There we go, do a bit of that. Uh, and then let's look at these junctions we've got going on here. It's madness, madness junctions. Uh, so we'll stick one signal on there and, and hope for the best. Uh, right, okay, so what's the route we want to run here? Well, whatever it is, it can't come up via Detroit. I hate this corner. By the way, I just hate it. 
despite the fact I managed to get a diamond junction in there, I still hate this corner. It is, it's, it's too abrupt. It's, it's, uh, it doesn't have an elegant flow to it. Uh, it just feels wrong to me. Maybe, maybe I'll, uh, I'll like it more in time, but at the moment I don't like it at all. Uh, but that's, that's not your concern. Um, maybe we can get there via Grand Junction. Nope. That doesn't connect to anything. Detroit is maybe the route we could go, because you could get all the way up here. And then, yes, you can get through this station and head out onto this secondary line. Uh, which will take you up to Grand Junction up here. Yep. And from here, hold on. Can you? Yes, you can. And then from here, you can get to Rill. Okay, fine. We can send this out of our uh, our, our primary depot. Uh, and we'll watch it cause trouble, may mayhem, and merriment along the way. Uh, but it is going to be from Rill to Vancouver. Nothing complicated. Just make it happen. Uh, so this is going to be the uh, real uh, uh, Vancouver uh, special edition because that's a name. Um, uh, I like it. The Grand Junction mess. Oh, harsh. Uh, and because I'm originating this out of a European city, I'm going to run a European train on it. Brace yourselves. Uh, We'll deploy it out of Sioux Falls, but uh, but it's going to be European in nature. So if I need to get up to there, we need to go on the. F I think we need. I think number two is going to be our uh, engine shed of choice here. Uh, locos. Uh, right now, the two twenty is the latest and greatest apparently, but this is a bit more. Uh, a bit more goodsy, uh, given its power and tractive effort. Thirty seven is not particularly quick now, is it? Uh, the, Ru the Prussian is too slow. This Prussian is slower still. Uh, the Borsig is too slow. We're going to use the PLM. Now, I've used the PLM before, and it's never made me any money. Uh, but you know what? We're going to use it now. Right, that's a million down the pan. Marvellous. Uh, and then wagons. Let's turn that on. Passenger. And then, uh, what does it do? 37. Okay, what do you do? 31. Too slow. Bavarian car. 31. Too slow. Compartment car. Perfecta Mungo. Uh, right. That's 22. That's 44. That's 55. So you're 11 times table, friends, if you want to join in at home. Uh, let's go 55, and then we'll, we'll up it to more should the need arise. So this is the uh, the, the real uh, Vancouver Special Edition. Oh, wait, you certainly can find a path to stop unless I've deployed you from the wrong depot. Uh, let's have a look. You can get out through here. You can get onto, I think, either of these two. If you can get onto this one, it will work. Let's move some of this, some of this showbiz out of my way here. Uh, right. So I need you over on this one, which means both of these two tracks will work. Oh, it doesn't work. Okay, I built it out the wrong depot, friends. Uh, now then, I can make this work if I can just get a quickly a quickie junction in here, uh, like that. Don't tell me too much curvature. Just build a junction. You can go now, right? Go, real Vancouver. See, I know my rails, uh, which is probably fortunate given that I built them. Um, there we are. Now then, let's uh, slow everything down. There we go. Let's uh, let's find a good uh, a good place to uh, to soak in the uh, the atmos on this one. How about lurking underneath the bridge uh, before we tag it uh, with our own uh, our own unique piece of graph. Uh, there we go. Right. Let's do a follow on. I haven't used one of these in ages. Here we go. Look at that. Ooh, nice. Uh, I even like the colour. Not that that makes any difference in the slightest, uh, but that's quite uh, that's quite pretty. Now, apparently, this is a big deal because it's slightly streamlined. In that it's got a pointy bit on the front, uh, but uh, but who knows for sure? Right, I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. I'm going to take a swifty break. 
because, uh, you know, I'm still getting over a bit of a cold. Uh, but it will only be a Swifty break. I'll be back in the next two or three minutes. Um, you can keep watching this. If I push this button like this, we go... Whoosh, whoosh, and then we come back again, which is possibly excessive, given that all I wanted to do was turn my camera off. Uh, and then I'll, uh, I'll mute myself. We'll be back in about two minutes. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> 